Continue to reserve the gentleman from New York. I'd like to yield two minutes to Mr. Crawley, who makes our New York State proud, makes the Ways and Means proud, and is a great member of this great Congress. Two minutes. The gentleman from New York is recognized for two minutes. I thank my good friend and colleague and the chair of uh, the Ways and Means Committee, which I, I so proudly serve on. I want to thank all those who are involved in this debate this evening. It, it's, it's been a very good debate uh, and one, I think, that has been fair, uh, fairly conducted. Uh, I think, though, it's important to look back on the historic nature of this particular agreement. Now, I say that coming to you as one who has not been a purist on this. I have not been blind in voting for or against free trade agreements. I've looked at free trade agreements and I've weighed them, I've balanced them. And I want to remind my colleagues, some of whom are new, who don't know who I am, what I'm about. I, I did not support WTO for China. I did not support PNTR for China. I did not support a number of the free trade agreements in the past. But when you look at this free trade agreement, as I have, I support this free trade agreement, this fair trade agreement, because it's the right thing to do. This is a good agreement, and it is worthy of the support of every member of this House. On December 10th of this year, the chairman of this committee and the chair of the, ranking, uh, of the, of the subcommittee on trade, along with our speaker, reached an agreement on a new template moving trade forward uh, in this Congress. You have to remember that the agreement with Peru was reached in the last Congress. The Peruvian uh, government uh, agreed to that agreement. We had a change in government. We adopted a new template. The Peruvian government took that template, reopened their agreement, and passed it again this year. They adopted the labor standards and the environmental standards. The labor standards that include freedom of association, the right to collectively bargain, elimination of forced and compulsory labor, abol uh, 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 abolishment of child labor, and elimination of employment discrimination, not to mention uh, the, the, uh, the, the advancements we've made in environmental protection. They are not just environmental and labor rights, but parcel with human rights. And if this an additional 30 seconds. I yield the gentleman. The gentleman's recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. They are a part of human rights and the values of our country that we'd like to have. Now, just briefly on Peru. Peru has been a country that has been developing. And this is an opportunity for them to develop a middle class, a stronger middle class, that will want more of our U.S. products. As we mentioned earlier, they already have duty-free quarter ac access, duty-free and quarter-free access to the United States. This is about opening up their borders to what we make. Uh, I think, Mr. Chairman, once again, I want to thank you for your hard work, uh, Mr. Levin as well, the Speaker, and uh, the other side of the aisle for this joint effort that's been made in a bipartisan way. I wholeheartedly support this agreement, and I yield back the balance of my time.